Bright lines facing an uncertain future on the Treasure Coast now after a vote from Stewart City Commissioners derailed plans for a downtown train station. Now the city of Fort Pierce would, try to, would like to get back in the conversation about that station. Our Treasure Coast Bureau reporter Andrew Rozier spoke with local leaders about the next steps. Well, we talked to the mayor as well as one of the city commissioners here in Fort Pierce, and they are still interested in getting a station here in the city, especially now that Stewart has backed out of the deal. But Martin County commissioners also hoping to continue with negotiations with Stewart and Brightline. The motion is to rescind. Monday night, Stewart City leaders voted to rescind the ground lease with Brightline and to rescind the interlocal agreement with Martin County. Tuesday morning, the Martin County administrator said that agreement was contingent on all three parties, the county, the city and Brightline participating together. Several Martin County commissioners believe a deal could still be possible and that negotiations should continue with both the city of Stewart and Brightline. Commissioner Doug Smith felt the county should bypass the city of Stewart completely and talk directly with Brightline. Commissioner Harold Jenkins believes since the previous agreement was scrapped, a new deal in the future is out of reach. We can talk to Brightline all we want, but unfortunately my personal opinion is um, if I was a betting man, yeah. very little chance. In the meantime, Fort Pierce Mayor Linda Hudson plans to ask her fellow board members what their strategy should be going forward. But we cannot interfere with their negotiations. So we, until it's a done deal, we have, we're going to let Brightline know publicly that we're interested. I hope that's what my commission is going to agree on, and then I will take it from there. Commissioner Curtis Johnson says they always hope to get a chance to get a train station in Fort Pierce. Certainly, uh, this is a tremendous opportunity for them to once again take a look at Fort Pierce. Uh, the community wants it. Uh, the business owners want it. In Fort Pierce, Angela Rozier, WPBF 25 News.